Hello everybody, I hope you're having a great day today. My name is Mikey and we're here with episode two of our Road to Diamond series. And uh, I wanted to check in with you guys after my vacation. I've been putting up some PoE content, but I also wanted to get this out to let you guys know where I'm at. And ta-da, not, oop, it's popping up. Uh, not much further than we were before. So uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about what's been happening. So I was down to zero LP. Uh, for quite a while and I was kind of battling back and forth between 0 and 20, 0 and 20 and then I went on like a huge loss streak and I didn't get demoted because my MMR was higher which was good. It kind of gave me a buffer zone and uh, we kind of leveled things out and brought it back but we completely destroyed our MMR with that like 8 or 9 game loss streak so pretty disappointing but I kind of came to a revelation that I need to be playing more carry based champs, uh, things that are lane bullies that I can do some more oppression in the top lane. Uh, I play really bad from behind. Uh, I know that's kind of weird to say because if you're behind, you're playing bad, but I play a lot of tanks that kind of get beat up in lane. And uh, other than like Scion doesn't get beat up in lane, he does the beating upping. <laughs> but. Uh, I need to take a more carry role when I can. Uh, I've been having some really good Olaf games. If I go back through here, you can see I had some really good Olaf games. The 13-6, 13-3. Some games where we just completely ran over the enemy team. And uh, I kind of looked at my champ pool and looked at upcoming patches like 8.6. Uh, there's going to be a lot of carry champions in the top lane. So a lot of skill matchups when you have... Uh, carry versus carry, which is good. They're buffing Ignite, taking out some runes that uh, give some early game defense and uh, all in all pretty good stuff. But when I can, when I do get favorable matchups or counter picks or just the ability to, I'm going to be playing a lot of Olaf, a lot of Fiora. Um, and then you see here, I was playing a normal game. I was so sad we lost this because we were doing so good and we lost. So I sold all my items and bought tears for the video when I was, as our Nexus died. But anyways, uh, yeah, I've been having a good time trying to really assess what what's keeping me here. Obviously, if I have this many games in Plat 5 already, it's not just bad luck. It's a poor play. So I got to iron out the issues uh, for sure. Got to iron out the issues and I got to, you know, get my MMR back up because it's low right now. Right now, I think I have like gold one MMR just from that destroyed loss streak. So I'm gaining like... 15 LP a win, losing 20 a loss, whereas before it was like 20 and 20. At some point, even when I was first ranked this season, because we were so lowly ranked that uh, compared to our MMR that we were getting like 22 a win and like 12 a loss. But those days are gone. So we're actually going to jump into a game, uh, play one, and see how we can do here. Oh. Uh. So I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry I was gone for a while. I was gone, or my league people uh, had the vacation and then uh, kind of got sucked into PoE a little bit uh, in terms of video making. I haven't been playing too many games outside of video making. Maybe, you know, obviously some league, but nothing uh, nothing else really. Mostly just PoE for uh, our playthrough on there. So go check that out if you're at all interested in the game. I'm not going to declare a champion, but I am going to talk about my ban now. So I usually perma ban Alawi. Uh, I just don't want to deal with the top lane, but I have a counter to it now with the Olaf. I've been having really good success into it. So I have a pick now. There's one champion that I don't want to play against, and that's Singe. Uh, some guy got rank one on, I forget which region it was, uh, playing Singe top. It's a good pick right now. It, not just because the guy got rank one. It's just a strong pick right now. Um, abuses some early game items and uh, yeah frustrating to play against because if he catches you out you're dead and then a fed singed is really difficult to deal with so don't want to put up with that so just getting him off and then off the board and then uh, also the proxying I just don't want to deal with because then you have to play something that can withstand the proxy and hold the proxy as well in between turrets uh, so you're not taking a ton of turret damage. So, yeah. Got a Shaco this game, which is kind of tilting. Last game, I had a new deer that camped me. And really just, yeah, we got slaughtered last game. So I did record that one, but it was, it, every lane got so slaughtered. It was such a short game and didn't really make for acceptable YouTube content, I don't think. I, I'll still put losses up, but I don't want to put complete stomps up. 
in our direction. It's not fun to watch people gray screening over and over again. So hopefully they pick their top laner in this rotation. That would help me out a ton. It's a Teemo. And that's a really good matchup for Olaf. So. My last thing, we have nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah, so into Teemo, Olaf's a pretty good matchup. Uh, especially when he just builds full damage Teemo. Oh, and Jin. Why would you pick a Jin into an Olaf? So basically, they don't have a ton of hard CC here. So what's going to happen in team fights is I'm just going to run at this guy and kill him. And that's basically my goal. They're going to have to Warwick ult me. And if they Warwick ult me, they're not Warwick ulting these people. And she'll be able to drop the bear on him if he gets close. So just a zone. So I like the way the comps are looking. They do kind of... Ooh, we have a Nocturne too for some pressure. And we got a strong bot lane. I feel pretty good about this as long as uh, they don't get hooked. It's going to be a pretty strong bot lane. I feel pretty good about top lane too. So like in this situation, a lot of times I might have just picked a tank like Scion. Scion's a really good, that's actually Teemo's worst, worst matchup. But uh, like I said, trying to orient myself to a more carry champion so I can try to run over some games and get my skill to a point where it's I can have an impact rather than just kind of being lazy, I'm going to be honest, where you're just uh, picking tanks Hope, like, rolling the dice if your team does well. And, yeah, you can maybe get a kill in lane every once in a while. You can cheese someone that doesn't expect to tank's damage and uh, push him in and get a little CS advantage, but it, it just doesn't carry over sometimes. Uh, you need to have something that can pick up losing lanes because odds are uh, one or more of your lanes is going to lose. It's just statistics, so you, you got to... The winning lanes have to compensate for that. And you got to go into each game thinking you're going to be a winning lane. You obviously don't want to think you're going to lose. So, Yeah, it's a little bit of a tedious matchup with Teemo. But once you get alt, you can like pass six if you're still in lane, which you normally are. Um, you just run him over. Uh, because as blind, your R removes disables and you chase him down with your Q. And if he's building Teemo correctly, then he's building, uh, he's building damage items and ability power. And you, you just do so much damage as Olaf to him. And now with Approach Velocity, that'll help as well. Uh-oh. Already a little flame. Warwick. I don't know if I have to worry about Warwick taking buffs, but I'm going to sit here anyways. We're going to just mute these guys to start the game. I don't want anything. I don't want you guys getting distracted by flame, and I don't want to get distracted either. Just focus on talking to you guys and playing the game. So, like, I, like we said in the first episode, the goal is still Diamond 5. That hasn't changed, obviously. There's a humongous gap, uh, about 7.5% of the players. So, uh, where I'm at is the top 8%, and then... Uh, diamond starts at the top 0.5 percent so you have to go through seven and a half percent the uh the top seven and a half percent of players or seven percent getting to that it's just gonna be a it's a tough task but i think my i gotta brush up on game knowledge uh you know there's things i gotta do there for sure uh but also i gotta iron out some of these mistakes like the other game i ran up top lane went into a bush that I don't normally do and I had Corrupting Pot which against a Fiora and she got a first blood on me and I thought I could beat her because you know my passive and I'm old off but I didn't you know she had a Doran's Blade and I had a Corrupting Pot so you can tell how that went now I don't want to push into this guy I kind of want to get him into a long lane I still want to get my farm so I'm going to have to queue minions occasionally but I want him in a long lane. He's easy to gank. Um, I can accumulate damage on him. Like, look at that. That's Scorch, Comet, and a Q. And I'm going to have to concede some farm early. But the goal with uh, efficiency with Olaf is hitting your Qs to last hit minions as well as uh, getting... Uh, so we missed that time, as well as getting the farm. So getting the farm and getting damage off is uh, pretty awesome. It just uh, just means you're using mana efficiently. Okay, see so we pull him. We just popped our first pot. We're playing this early game really well against him. And now he has to come into a long lane or he's got a back. So he just warded. 
So he's popping pots. He's got a dark seal, so he went greedy. Now, if I hit one of these... Now, I, see, you see, I can't fight him in minions too well, especially because of the blind. But once we hit... Okay, so Teemo Flash. Ping Mass or Jungler Nose. That's really good to get out of Teemo. That makes him uh, really campable. We're gonna push this in and back. So it might not, I hope this all crashes. Perfect, that's a big wave crash. Oh, Teemo's still there. Hmm. We might be able to do something. Warwick's bot lane, so if Teemo gets greedy here, we could potentially kill him. I don't know if he'll see us go right here. No, he won't. I'm hoping he runs up for this next wave and then I can kill him. Stay still. Nice. So now, now he's got a back for sure. Uh, their mid lane is... Uh-oh, this is not good. This is super greedy staying for this. I'm calling it now, now, so when I die, I can say I told myself so. And we get them all. Oh, I leveled my E instead of my Q. That's actually super bad. Not the world ending stuff, but not the best. So one thing you can do into Teemo is you can do a uh, Hex Drinker Rush, which I think is pretty good. Um, Hex Drinker is a good item in general. And they have a Shaco mid lane. And I don't know if he's going to be going. I would be careful if I were you, Annie. Oops. I didn't mean to question mark ping. I meant to uh, danger ping. That's dangerous waters with a Warwick running around. Top's gone. She's getting ganked. Teemo's coming. Nocturne's got the kill for sure. Nice. Teemo's Mia still, and I made the mistake of hitting minions. I'm going to freeze this on him. Uh, let that minion stay alive. We have a decent freeze here. Not the best. Not a, no, okay, now it's not frozen, but uh, it's he's got to come to us, touch minions. You see how scared he is? He knows. People know. Okay, so now is the time where we could all in him. Uh, yep, he went full AP. He's got no health. And we're zoning him for minions completely. So this is good. This is the kind of stuff I want to be able to do. And I'm never playing champs that allow me to do this. So he's just going to wait back there. I'm going to try to have as many of these as possible die. There's no point in rushing it right now. There's no point in rushing this bat in, in this push. Uh, our team's doing fine. Yep, making Teemo just more worthless is going to be where it's at this game. Yep, I hit him. That's nice. So you get the Scorch and just make him pop potions. So he's doing the right thing, actually. Uh, some people might be like, holy crap, he's giving up so much. This is what good players generally do. Now, if he goes really aggressive on me, I know Warwick's here. And I could get out of a Warwick ink, so that's why I'm playing up. Now, I know that Mushroom's there and it's going to get hit by stuff. So just be a little careful. Remember, use that mana efficiency. <sighs> yeah, she's just dead. Unless she stuns him. Nocturne's got it. Okay, that's worth it. 
Now, I can dive him if I hit an axe. Uh, it's a little risky. Oh, wow. I can't believe he fought that. That was a poor decision. But Timo's going to back here. So, I want to get this pushing. I don't want any of my minions to hit resistance here. I just want to get this pushed. Oh, he's still there. He is a cheeky guy. He likes to greed for these. Now, this is starting to get to overextending territory. Uh, Shaco's going to be a good ganker. Now, they think I'm backing, but I'm not. I want to clear this out. And then back. Getting a better back timing than your enemy laner is huge. It forces their TP out. Or it's... Uh, or they just lose a bunch of farm. And then it'll bounce back right when you get back to lane. So you might lose a few minions, but that's just the need for backing. So we're going to buy this, and then we're going to um, get our components. Actually, how far off are we? We're 13 gold. We'll wait. Get our components, start working towards our black cleaver. But that hex drinker is really good. And, uh, yep, he's going AP Shaco, so perfect. Uh, there's some magic damage from Jin, mostly 80 though, and the magic damage and a little bit of magic damage. So having a hex drinker won't be bad at all. Now he pushed this really fast, so he used a lot of mana. I'm worried Timo's gonna go help him. Yeah, you don't win fights against Warwick. I don't know why he's trying to 1v1 Warwick. I just that's just not understanding his champion. Which is a bummer. Both kills, he's just tried to uh to solo Warwick. And that's not something that's you can really do if unless the Warwick is super far behind. And he already gave him a kill. So it's just like a lane opponent. Oh, uh, we got our boots now, which is super good. You see that Q is just stinging him really hard. He he just built blasting wand again. So he's going to have to respect us now for sure. I can dive him at this point. That's why I'm kind of conserving mana, using some. But. He's going to have to hit these minions. He's here somewhere. There he is. See, we do like a lot of his health. If I hit one more axe, I can dive. But he's just going to continue to sit under turret. Jeez, this gin's getting fed. That's going to hit him. I got to hit one more. Zone him out of experience. I'm going to sit right here. Now, he's got a TP back, I think, this time. Yeah, so you can see that. Just that CS lead is just accumulating like no other. Okay, they got Ocean Drake. So he's coming back to lane. And I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely give him a hassle. Gosh, this Nocturne completely blew his lead. Now Timo is hard to hit with the small character model. That's not that's for sure. But I think I'm going to drag this back now, now that he's here. Drag him back into the lane and zone him. Zone him off creeps. Because at this point, it's a even lane. It's neutral. And then when I interact with it, like this, oh. That's why you want to interact. as When you're trying to freeze, you want to interact as late as possible. Get as much damage out of each creep. Because it is going to push because you're interacting with it. But as much as you can get without losing CS. And you see the backup minions are here. We, now we... Ooh, I missed that one. So you can see we're not freezing, but it, it's it's in a situation where uh, we're going to create a big wave to crash, which isn't bad. It makes it easy to dive. Gosh, we have a huge CS lead on him. And there he is. Kind of expected that. Now, he can't do this like he think he can. Yep, Warwick's here. That's why he was going aggressive. Yeah, if Warwick's here, for sure. Because Warwick is fed. 
Uh, if Warwick came right then, I probably would have just all in the Teemo and traded one for one, called it good. But we don't have to do that. Yep. The might of I understand they're probably coming for me. I have a lot of gold too. Um, I'm not gonna finish the uh, the Hex Drinker into. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna finish the Hex Drinker. I'm just gonna. Um, Get my black cleaver. That's top priority. Oof. Man, this nocturne does not play nocturne. Now, another thing I can do is I can wait right here again. And he knew I was here. So, we'll push another wave. I have full. Yikes, man. They're really making this game hard. I could have TP'd, but. I don't want to TP into that mess. As bad as that sounds, I, I just, I don't know. Holy moly. Come on, bot lane. It's always bot lane, isn't it? <laughs> I'm smashing top lane. But it's, I'm not smashing it hard enough. Mainly because this Teemo is playing correctly. We're just shoving lanes to each other. He's just letting his team win. But at this point, I actually want to push one more. This is greedy, but uh, I think he's going to think I back now. AP Shaco on it. Have not seen that often. It has been a while. Man, we both like staying in lane and greeting, don't we? I mean, hey, if the CS discrepancy is going to be this big, he's got to let this walk in. Or I'm going to hit him with the axes. Uh, Nocturne has ult coming up. He could dive. He could look to dive. Yep, Timo's gone, so I can back. Smart move, actually. I don't know if he saw uh, the Nocturne on a ward. Shaco does a lot of damage. I'm so bad. Ugh. Yeah, it's on me. I didn't have items. I, I didn't have anything to do anything. So that was on me. But, oh, they still got the Rift Herald. Uh, Annie? Hello, team? What is going on? Yeah, see, I got a little overzealous there. I am mostly worried about... Gosh, I don't know. Not worried about auto attackers. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take more treads for the uh, MR as well as the, uh, you know, the blind, um, his uh, fear, yeah, all that stuff. Shaco's boxes, all that stuff will be good. They have a lot of CC. Oof. Oh, I was trying to get the E off. Now he is backing here. No? So he respected it. If I hit an axe there, I just all in him and he dies pretty quickly. Someone was there. Someone just popped in. There he is. So he's got Leandri, so he hurts now for sure. Even though I got a lot of MR. Oof. Tough. Oh, 
ran into boxes. I got a Q. I have to hit this. Okay. Oh! Nice, got him. Whew. We're actually gonna take this. This is greedy, but... What's the game if you're not greedy a little bit? Oh, why are you there? Don't be there. Just run away. Did we get the dragon? No, we did not. That's a bummer. But we are coming back, uh, which is nice. And we're not doing too shabby. We cleaned up pretty good there. We kept on the Shaco and we hit the axe on the gen, so. All in all, good stuff. Uh, not gonna finish that off still. Um, probably gonna go for this item next. Um, keep my, yeah, we're gonna go for Dead Man's Plate just so I have the mobility to run around. They're a pretty fast comp. Shaco can get around. Uh, Timo can get around. Warwick can get around. I, I wanna be able to match that to some extent, to match rotations. And plus it's just a, it's just a good thing for him to have. It's not a bad item. And I really desperately need some armor. Uh, for the AD champions on their team. I don't have enough of that. A lot of people will get Guardian's Angel, or not Guardian's Angel, yeah, Gar or Righteous Glory, sorry. But I have not had much luck with it. I don't know why. Uh, it's a very good speed up item, but if you don't buy it like first, second item, the second item, it's really lackluster. I'm gonna come in on here, see if I can help clean up. Good stuff. We get the Baron now. I'm gonna take some damage doing this, but we got Nami heals. Yo, Tibber, send your chicken. Well, he stopped the Baron, so uh, is it worth for him? Maybe. Maybe it is. Oh, this is bad. Warwick's coming. Oh, the airy killed me. Oh, feels bad, man. Feels so bad. Wow, that really does. I forget how much damage Timo does. He's got a couple kills now, actually, so he's respectable. Definitely going to be getting a Spear Visage this game with all this happening. Nami and then my heals. and Yeah, this Shaco does a lot of damage. Can really blow someone up. She needs MR. Okay, she's getting it. And then he's going to need MR too. I hope he's not going Bloodthirster here. I hope he's going Merxin, but he's not. I don't think. Oof. I don't know. Merxin would be so good against the Shaco. And I know it's an item a lot of Dravens build pretty quickly. Super juicy against this comp. I mean, okay, I'm coming. But we, we kind of got to give it up. We lost a fight. Are we engaging? Oof. Behind you. That's super bad. I'm gonna stick on the Warwick. Watch out for Shaco. Shaco's over here. Gosh, I'm so bad against Shaco. <laughs> really bad against Shaco's. Yeah, they always catch me. They get me with the deceive. I think if I did a little more study uh, up on him, 
played him a few times actually would probably be a good way to do it um, just to, that helps so much if you're struggling against a champion I recommend playing it you know or have a counter to it I guess I can TP if they really push it but are they gonna siege no they're gonna come up and try to kill me or set up dragon yep so I'm gonna back and then we're gonna try to get our butts over to dragon that's priority And now we'll uh, finish our Maw of Melmortis off. So I'm feeling pretty good about our items right now. We have a lot of damage. We're pretty damage heavy, actually. Uh, so we're going to kind of get blown up. But uh, we could really change the tide of a fight. What is he doing? I'm so confused. They're just going to take the dragon for free if we go kill Teemo. That's not worth They'll have double. They're just doing this? Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't know what's happening there. The might of approaches. Man, he's doing some damage. Whew, Timo's doing some damage to me. I gave up my momentum, which is bad. Man, they are getting... Jeez. They're getting torn apart by Team Mushrooms. And I'm dead here, probably. Nope, had to alt out. Man, we're really taking a long time to run away, but if I leave, they're just going to engage on them. Oh, what are you doing, dude? That's a suicide. Okay. He's just suiciding. No. That makes it harder. <sighs> yeah, the Teemo Shrooms just tore the whole team apart. Is kind of what happened there. As you can see, we're starting to fall off a little bit, not having the impact we could, but they're t they have a really goofy comp. It's really good at um, picking. If you if they draw us into a fight that they want, it's really good because they have Shaco boxes, which do a ton of damage um, as an AP, as an AP uh, guy instead of AD. Yeah, I should go check on this. Oh, are they doing it? No. We're going to put two wards in there. It's a good ward to get rid of. I have a lot of gold, but... I mean, if we take a favorable fight and blow someone up, we can win it for sure. Oops, sorry. I bumped my mic there. It's a very close game. It's really teetering on the edge of like the next fight is gonna matter. And I'm worried this Nocturne is doesn't quite know his role. You're standing on a ward, friend. <laughs> so once we get 1600 gold, we'll back. Uh, right now we have good mana. We can stay on the map and have a presence. And hope our team doesn't engage without me. Problem is they'll get engaged upon with their comp. That's what I'm worried about. I mean, I don't know what he wants me to do. They want a 5v5 right now? Down mid lane? I mean, we don't even have top turret yet, friend. But, okay. I can scooch on over. I have 1500 gold though. Get rid of all these. It's good. They're gonna kite towards. Them. 
Uh, we barren. Fairly certain. Or do we just want to push? We could do either. I didn't hit him. Yeah, I knew I could get that. This is bad. I'm probably dead here because of Warwick's ridiculous speed. The might of Lockbar approaches. Nope, he's right there. I might be able to run far enough to make it not worth his while and just back. I'm worried about Shaco though. Uh, that was iffy. Okay, we're gonna get more MR. Keep stacking that MR. So we'll have three MR items. I'm not worried about the gin damage, surprisingly. Uh, gin into tanks is worthless. That's why I hate the champion on my team. Ooh, that's what they're doing right now. They're totally doing it. Shit. God, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, she TP'd for nothing. Ooh, we should do it. We should do it. We should do it. Shake goes back. Shake goes back. Shake goes back. I'm gonna pop my potions right now. This isn't bad. Oh, Nocturne's dead. That's good. Oh, this is super bad now. Maybe it was a bad call. Oh, we slowed him too. Good stuff. Shaco's here. Shaco's gonna kill me. <laughs> That's really good stuff. That is awesome, guys. Whew. Feels good, team. So that was really good for us. Uh, we do want to get this Air Drake, because them with Air Drake is a little scary. I'm going to push one more wave, and then I'm going to back. Actually, how far am I off? Oh, a ways. Actually, I can. there's only two people alive. I can get this tower. I feel pretty confident in my power 1v1ing someone. Okay, now I have to respect it. But I wanted to get that pushing, so they have to send someone there so Draven can safely get this. Uh, he still might not. Okay, he got it. Good. And then sell this. Adaptive actually might be better. Um, yes, adaptive would be better. I'm glad I thought of that. Um, adaptive, even though I have a lot of healing... Uh, we actually might go Adaptive and Spear Visage both, uh, surprisingly. But Adaptive's too good into Teemo to Shaco. They just have a lot of burn damage that just ticks over time. But we got some good stuff now. We got Baron. Just run it down mid. I'm not really scared of anyone. I'm pretty tanky. Item. Someone's got to go top. Draven, go top. His gin steps really far up. Why didn't Draven go top? What are you doing? Is he AFK? Hello? Oh, cool. So the guy that was supposed to... This is really bad. Then they're going to counter push here. Is he AFK? Shit, did someone, like, trigger him? Because we have chat turned off. Oh my gosh. Please don't tell me. I wanted this to be a good YouTube video. And it was such a close game. And now he's dying.
What were you doing? Like that lost our momentum so hard. I gotta go here. Like we had some momentum going in this game and then that just completely reversed it. They have momentum the other direction now. Shit, they're fighting. And we're losing poorly. This is so bad. Like, honestly, Draven probably just lost this. I, I'm not going to say that, but made it very tricky to win this game. And then Nocturne's just dead. I'm going to do as much work as I can here. Okay. We have a lot of time to push out waves, so we got to use that. We don't have any other objective we can get, but you take what you can get. Yikes. This is platinum. Oh, we got him. That's actually good, a 55 second cooldown. Longer the game goes, that shit gets real hard to deal with. Death timers can really punish you, and they sneak up on you, so be careful of that. They're all coming up now, though. I can't overstay anymore. I gotta leave. Yep, because they have a Blitzcrank. They get there just a couple. Generally, you can get one or two more seconds there, depending on the comp, but he's dead. I don't know why he's staying there. He's just inted. Okay. I have a lot of gold. I gotta spend it. Uh, Warmox is definitely a potential. Guardian's Angel is another one. Uh, I can't one-shot anything. Darn it, I don't know what I want. I think I want more MR. Just more MR and health. Like, I know we're gonna have a ton of MR and not much armor, but... The AD that's coming through is not substantial enough. They have... I don't... I can, I can go after Jin, and then once there's Jin, a lot of them aren't... Anything to worry about. Push as fast so Shaco has to respawn. Yep. Hide behind a minion there. Looked like he was going for that. See, I want this regen. That actually might have been a case for Warmox. I don't know. Dropped it on the clone. Super good. We don't win this anymore. This is bad by me. I don't have the armor, remember? So if Jin gets to kite me, we lose. We're gonna lose a lot here because of that fight. We were up too far. I can't contest Baron. They're getting Baron right now, but I can't contest it. Could try. Nope. Yeah, it's like it. The odds of getting that so close to none. I mean, they're just gonna get that next. We should go do this right now. Right now. We should rush it. Someone just backed. Oh, God, dude. Teemo is just fing us up. And we don't have Nocturne, so we can't go for this. We gotta run. And they're dead.
we don't win that fight in any world. So they're going to have Elder and they're going to have Baron. And it's going to be almost impossible to win at that point. Um, it's frustrating. We had a chance to win this game, but Nock died a lot. Look at all the deaths. Like, he just kept going in. I can't do anything. They have Elder. They win fights super hard. They have so much damage. Even the tanks, like Blitzcrank, will have really good damage. We don't want to fight here. Yeah, when Annie dropped the bear on the clone, that that was kind of the nail in the coffin for us. I played that poorly. If they get a lot of return kills here, though, Shaco's going to be coming back in. They can get in him off that. Shaco's going to try to kill Nocturne here. Watch this. <laughs> it's going to be pretty funny. Holy moly. He's going to die. You can see, I'll, I, like, there is physical damage, but there's so much magic damage coming out. I don't know if you push that anymore, friend. Oh my gosh. Shrooms everywhere. Whew. That has a lot of magic pen and... Whew. So yeah, I have four MR items, essentially. Um, some people might argue against that, but there's just that's how they win fights, is they poke you out of the fight, and then there's no fight to be had. This game is still winnable. We can still win fights. Uh, Elder's gonna... I think Elder's worn off now. Nope, they still have it for a little bit. But if we wait for Elder... And if Nocturne can get on the right guy... Um, if Nocturne can pop Jin, We might have a chance. We could all scoot up here. Could all do a little collapse. It might not work, but. To yep, now they're bot lane. That was a good juke by Teemo. I'm counting on my vision here. Ooh, hi Teemo. Yeah, I win that a lot of the time. Come fight me. I gotta, yeah, I gotta pull, I gotta pull pressure away. Problem is we're just not getting anything off of it. We can't get anything off it because there's no lanes push because no one's pushing lanes. They just want to ARAM. Man, this one's going deep, guys. We don't have many games as deep, usually. They're going to come back up. They're going to watch. Watch. Nocturne's going to push too far. And Draven's going to push too far. And Teemo's going to come up. And he's going to waddle out there like a little yordle. And he's gonna go Q E E. Q auto 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 and he's gonna be dead. We only have ten seconds on death timer, so all we really were able to do was, was to change how the lanes were pushing, which is oh I, I that's a very questionable TP. So Baron comes up in a No gen alt, that's, I mean, can only be good for us. If I got pulled there, I would have to alt.
Blitzcrank flashed. That's good. Um, well, we gotta go in now. Yeah, we just gotta start getting in hibs now. Or end the game, one of the two. I think we can end. Oh, we gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. Where things are too sketchy. Just hit this. Holy crap, we won. <laughs> oh, GG well played, guys. That was awesome. Oh, that feels so good. That's a really good game. That's a big comeback. Wow, that was fun. That was really fun. Andy. Andy gets the back game shoot pretty well, I think. Yeah. Ooh, let's look at the charts. Yeah, we were out there in damage to the tank top laner. Team was so much damage. I like playing Teemo. Wow. Good game. Just a really good grind. Really good grind for the win. I think we itemized correctly. And I feel pretty good. We're back to 63 LP. I'm going to continue trying to make progress. Uh, I'll probably do one of these every week if something big happens. Something